Hello and welcome to Career Ride. It's Nishant here once again, and I'm here with a new topic. And my today's topic is Java Array interview questions and answers. These questions are very helpful for both freshers and experienced people. So let's get started now. Right, so let's begin with the first question. What is an array in Java? What are the types of arrays? An array is a data structure that can hold multiple values, which are of same type. The size of an array is defined when it is created, and it cannot be changed, meaning the size of an array cannot be increased or decreased once it is declared. Now, each value in an array can be accessed using an index that starts from zero. Now, let's have an example of one D array. This is an array of four elements. You can see all the elements are integers and homogeneous. And there is index of the array which always starts from zero and goes up to n minus one elements. Now let's see an example of one D array in a Java program. So in this program, you can see we have declared an array of type int, and then the array is created with size ten. And then we have initialized the array, and at the end of the program, we have printed the first element of array. Now there are two types of arrays in Java. There are one-dimensional arrays, which we have just discussed, and there are multi-dimensional arrays. A multi-dimensional array is an array that has more than one dimension. It is an array of arrays, an array that has multiple labels. Or dimensions. Now, multi-dimensional arrays can be two D or three D arrays. Now, let's try to understand two D array. A two D array is an array of arrays where each element inside the array is one D array. Two D array is a matrix and is well suited for spreadsheet type data. For example, we can have a two D array for three students. To store marks for four subjects, and to do so, we have to create an array in this manner. And here you can say we have three rows and four columns in an array. Now let's try to understand 3D array. A 3D array is an array where each element inside the array is a 2D array. For example, we can have a 3D array for three students to store marks on four subjects. For four different term exams, and to do so, we have to create an array in this manner. So here, the first dimension indicates the number of tables or arrays. The second dimension indicates the number of rows, and the third dimension indicates the number of columns. Okay, so coming to the next one, what are the advantages and disadvantages of an array? Now let's try to understand advantages of an array. An array can store multiple values in a single variable. It is easy to access an element randomly using the index of array. We can also loop through the array using the index to access the elements of array quickly. It is easy to manipulate and store large data in an array. Now coming to disadvantages of an array. The size of array cannot be changed, and since the size of array is fixed, there is a chance of memory wastage. Only items or objects of similar type can be stored in an array. And to modify elements of an array, you need to traverse throughout the array, which increases the time complexity. Okay, now coming to the next question: What is the default value of an array? When an array is created, the array is not initialized. Then the compiler would assign them their default values, which are different for different types of arrays. For example, for a boolean array, the default value is false. For integer array, the default value is zero, and for double array, the default value is zero point zero. And for reference types, the default value is null. Now let's see a Java program with an integer array. So in this program, we can see an array is created 
but not initialized. When we try to print the first element of the array, the output is 0, which is a default value of integer array. Now the next question is what is an array of objects? In Java arrays can hold primitive values such as int, double, etc. and reference values which points to objects. Just as the array that hold integer values is known as an integer array, the array which holds objects is known as an array of objects. Now the array can only hold the references to the objects and not the objects themselves. Now the next one is how to create an array of objects in Java. In order to create, we use the following syntax. Now let's have a Java program to create an array of objects. Now in this example, we have created a class called student and we have SID and name as attributes. And we have a constructor where SID and name are getting initialized. We also have a method called show detail where we are printing student ID and student name. Now in the class main, we have created an array of student object first, then initializing student object using constructor. And at the end, we have displayed the student object details. So this is an example how to create an array of objects in Java. Now the next question is what is an array list in Java? What is the difference between an array and an array list? An array list is a class that helps to create resizable arrays. It is also called a dynamic array. Unlike arrays, array list can automatically adjust their size when we add or remove elements from them. Now in order to create an array list, we need to import java.util.arraylist package first. And we can create an integer array list as follows. Now, as we can see, the wrapper class integer is used instead of primitive int, and this is because array list can only work with wrapper classes. Now, let's have a simple example of array list. Now, here we have created an object of array list of a string type, and we have added few values to it. And at the end, we have printed the first value of array list. Now let's try to understand difference between array and array list. An array is a fixed size data structure, whereas array list is a resizable array. In array due to its fixed size, there can be memory wastage, whereas there cannot be any memory wastage in array list. Arrays can contain both primitive data types and objects whereas array list can contain only objects. Now the next one is what are the advantages of a linked list over an array list? And in which scenarios do we use linked list over array list? Now in Java, linked list is a class just like an array list, which can help create a data structure that can contain many objects. A linked list also has special methods such as add, remove, get, etc. Just like an array list. But unlike an array list that internally use a dynamic array to store the elements, linked list uses a doubly linked list to store the elements. Now the advantages of a linked list over an array list. Linked list is much faster as compared to array list where manipulation like addition, deletion operations is frequent. Linked list uses a doubly linked list so the list element can easily be inserted and removed without reorganization of the list because the elements do not require contiguous memory. And in case of array list, it uses an array internally. If any element is removed from the array, all other elements are shifted in memory. Now let's try to understand scenarios in which linked list is used over array list. Linked list should be used when modification rate is more than the read scenarios. And when the rate of read scenario is more than addition or deletion rate, then array list should be used. You know a linked list in Java maintains two links, 
next and previous links to store the address of previous and next nodes. So the memory overhead in the linked list is more as compared to the array list where no such links are required. Now coming to the next one, what is a jacked array in Java? What is the difference between jacked array and multidimensional array? A jacked array is an array of arrays or a multidimensional array where each inner array can be of different size, which means there can be variable number of columns in each row. And each of the member array occupy their own blocks in memory. Now let's see an example of 2D jacked array. So in this example, you can see the variable number of columns in each row. Whereas in 2D multidimensional array, the number of columns is same in each row, which is usually represented in the form of a matrix. And you can see in the example here. So we have 2D array having 4 rows and 4 columns.